Hello everyone, my name is Farrakhan and in this video I'll be talking about renovating the staircase by reusing the old hardwooden floors in the house that we bought from 1901. I will tell you why you should do it yourself and I hope to inspire you for your next project. So let's get started. There is a before and an after shot of the staircase. We did both the stairs and the stair railing. And here you can see the first shot that we made when we were visiting the house. So as you can see, the previous owner had carpet laying on the stairs and also the stair railing was painted. We both really didn't like that. So what we did is we got rid of the carpet firstly, which you can see here. And we had two stairways, so both of them we got rid of. And then below that, there was some kind of a wood material in this gray, which was very old. Uh, we also got rid of that, but the nice thing about this is that we could reuse these as a template for the new hard wooden floor. So the house when we bought it had an old hard wooden floor, it was a very high quality wood. So if you would want to buy something like that, it would be very expensive. So we knew immediately that we would want to reuse that for the stairs. If you don't have that laying around, I would definitely recommend to check online for second hand if someone is getting rid of it. Basically you just have to cut it in the right size add a stair nose to it and just add it to the stairs on top. So I think one thing I learned from doing this on our own or together with my dad is that even making something like this is not rocket science. You just need a little bit of time and patience and a few tools, I would say. So this multi tools, definitely something I recommend, it really helps in cleaning it up. And then finally, what we did is um, caulking all of the sides for isolation and making sure it looks good. Uh, my dad and I visited a workshop here in The Hague to cut them to the right size. And also we bought this MDF and painted it in the same color as the walls to add it to the back side of the stairs. A lot of the things we actually did at home and we also got the tools. So even here, I think uh, you would manage with a few simple tools. I use this random orbit uh, sander to send all of the stairs one by one, add the stair nose to it. We did this by using three screws and also gluing it to really be 100% sure that it's solid and it won't break. So after that, it's basically just gluing all of the stairs on the stairway and the back panel you can see is that same color of the wall and then caulking all of the sides and giving it a nice paint. I finished it off with two layers of this universal impregnation oil. I think this really helps in getting it to the same color as our new wooden floor. So now that is the result only very nice in my opinion, but it also really pays off when you make something on your own. And then now let's get to the stair railing. So here it had paint before. Also the previous owner decided to use this hideous paint on the stair railing. Getting rid of all the paint was a very painful job because it took such a long time with a paint gun and a scraper uh, to get rid of all of the paint and afterwards uh, had to use a random orbit sender, what you're seeing here, with a sponge on front of it so it won't, uh, it curved with the edges. Finally, after a long time, we got to this stage for the stair railing where you can see the original wood. Uh, but it was not in a great condition, so instead of oil, I decided to use wood stain in a teak color. Again, for this, applying it with a brush and waiting a day before it uh, dries up. I used two coats and it really made a huge difference. So here you can see a before of how it looked like and an after. And also when it was a bit more dried up and you can see the final result of the staircase uh, which looks in my opinion really really great so once again here is the final result of the staircase I hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one bye bye